Yo, what's good guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well today. For this week's video, I'm gonna be breaking down a trap R&B sample I made the other day. Samples in the style of an artist like Drake or Party Next Door. I think the sample turned out super fire. I'm gonna play a preview of it right now so you guys can hear it. Yeah, that's the sample. There's not much to say about it. Let's just jump into FL Studio and let me break it down step by step. All right, so to start off the sample, I have this piano from Analog Lab. I have the BPM set to 87 and we are in the scale of G sharp minor. And I came up with this chord progression and it's really simple. It's just a six, seven, one, five chord progression. So instead of starting on the one, which would be G sharp, we're starting on E and we're working our way up to G sharp and then we're playing this chord down here. All right, let me just show you guys how I made this chord progression quick. So I started off with an E major 7th chord and I made this chord just by skipping every other note in the scale and then I copied the E down an octave just to add some bass to it. So I had this chord play for two full bars and then I went up to F sharp which is the next note in the scale and I made another F sharp major chord. You'll notice I didn't skip this note because if I followed that same method, this note would actually be up here. I want this note to be down here just to make this chord sound a little bit more tense and so this note would play throughout. So then what I did is I went to the root note of the scale which is G sharp and I just made a G sharp minor 7th chord by skipping every other note. I wanted the chord progression to resolve somewhere closer to this E chord so then I went down to D sharp and I just skipped every other note. And then the last thing that I did to the chord progression is I just hit option S to strum the notes. But this is what the chord progression sounds like without any effects on it. The next thing I did from there is I went to the mixer channel and for effects I put an RC20, just a vinyl one preset with the noise and the wobble turned down. And then I went to an EQ and I just cut out a bunch of the lows. And then I just put a stock fruity chorus on it. And then I put a default Valhalla Supermassive preset on it. And then just another EQ to cut out some lows and the highs. And here's what the piano sounds like with all the effects on it. So the next thing I did is I grabbed this drunk texting preset from Kavi's Confessions 2 bank. And what I did to the preset is I just took out this worldy preset that was like combined with it. So that I just had this lead and I sort of used it as a bit of a pad. And I just copied the same chord progression from the piano into here. But what I did is I pitched the root note up an octave for this last chord. So here's what the pad sounds like without any effects on it. So that's what the pad sounds like dry. For effects, I went to RC20 and I added another vinyl one preset to it. And then I went to halftime, just put it on two times mode, one half loop. And then I just add an EQ cutting out some lows and the highs. This is what the pad sounds like with all the effects on it. So next thing I did is I grabbed this Moog Hell sub bass from Kavi's May Stash Volume 1 kit and I just laid down this bass line mainly sticking to the root notes of each chord except I added a couple of passing notes just to help transition between the chords and this is what the bass line sounds like. So 
So then the next thing I did is I grabbed this Disco Inferno art from Kavi's Confessions 2 bang. And I just laid down a one bar note on D sharp because that's a note that plays like throughout each chord in the chord progression. And this is what the ARP sounds like. So I thought it was a very unique sound, but I wanted to wash it out a bit so it would act more as a texture in the background of the melody. So what I did to achieve that is I add an RC20 Vinyl 1 preset, and then I went to Portal and I grabbed the Surfing the Web preset, and then I went to Valhalla Supermassive and I just added a default preset, then I add an EQ just cut out some lows and the highs. Here's what the ARP sounds like with all the effects on it. So then I added the six side lead from Kavi's Confessions to Analog Lab Bank, and when I was laying down the lead, I actually pitched the entire melody up to A minor, just because I know that scales every white note on the keyboard, and I played in this melody like using my MIDI keyboard. So this is what the lead sounds like. So yeah, that's the dry lead. For effects on that, I added a portal preset, the force shape pan preset. I went to an EQ and cut out a bunch of the lows. Went to Valhalla Supermassive, added a brass blat preset, and then I just added another EQ cutting out a bunch of the lows and the highs to really wash out the lead. And this is what the lead sounds like with all the effects on it. So I thought the melody was sounding pretty good, but it can't be a Drake R&B melody without like a vocal sample of some kind. So I just flipped through Splice and I found this ambient vocal commitment in the scale of C sharp minor and I just chopped it up a little bit. I went into pitch and I pitched up 700 cents so it would be in the scale of the rest of the melody. Then I went to stretch pro mode and I just played around with the form and shift and pitched it down 100 cents just to make it sound like a little bit more sampled. And this is what the vocal chop sounds like. So the vocals are already like pretty sampled as is, but I just want to add a couple effects to it just to help wash it out a bit more. So to do that, I add an RC20 Vinyl 1 preset with the wobble turned up a bit. Then I added a small and wide preset from Valhalla Supermassive. Then the last thing I did is I add an EQ to cut out a bunch of the lows and the highs. So from there, I just selected the entire region and I went into the mixer channel again and I press this button to arm the master channel to record. I hit option R and I just hit start to render out the melody as one audio file. And then from there, I just went in and I pitched it down 200 cents so that the final sample is an F sharp minor. Yeah, that's it for the sample breakdown. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to start sending samples out to people who leave comments down below. So if you want this sample and some other samples I've been cooking up, just leave a comment down below and I'll pick 10 people from the comments section, send them a link to some samples. I'm going to play the full sample again for you guys. I appreciate you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.